Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of watch collection. Uh, today I want to talk about a, a watch I, I, I like a lot. Uh, I also like the watchmaker, uh, Stefan Kadoki, and the Kadoki 3. Now this is the third in a series that all have the same caliber. They have a caliber 1 that was uh, an in-house movement by Stefan Kadoki. Uh, this, this watch, the, the thing I like about this watch is that there are so many things you can do with a watch with the same movement. Some of them are interesting, some not so much. Uh, Kadoki has done something interesting with all three of his watches. Uh, using the caliber one movement. Now this one's called the uh, Kadoki 3. It's uh, stainless steel, 39 millimeters. Uh, it's about $9,900 and less in Euro. Uh, what it has is that for the hours, it, it has uh, triple chapter rings. And so you have these hands that are, it's really a three arm hand. I'll talk about that a little more in a second and then they, they come up out of it, and then the rest of it is, is, pretty, is pretty clear. The, uh, the minute chapter ring is around the side. Um, it's uh, water resistance up to 5 ATM, which is, for me, would be far more than I needed because I, I don't take these really good watches into any other place other than something nice and dry. I wouldn't even take it into a swimming pool. Not because they couldn't handle it, just because I don't like to do that with a really good watch. Uh, it's got an onion, um, an onion dome crown on it, stainless steel. I like those because you can grab them and they're they're easy to uh, they're easy to you can really wind them up. You get a good grip on them. Um, anyway, so this is. Uh, this is a watch. This is a new one, the Kadoki 3, in the latest of the of the series. Now, what I like about this watch is the 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 concept of how to use space in different ways on the face of a watch. Is that uh, here are three watches? There's a Daniel Roth Asus uh, two. Uh, the Zero Calligraph, and then over on the, the far right is the uh, Kadoki 3. And I think on the Daniel Roth, you can see how the hand, they simply have three different links for the arms on the hand. And the the longest one goes, it starts out with zero, and then it comes around, and it goes, the second one goes where the row starts with 20 and then finally the shortest one goes to the bottom row and it's it's just a different way of doing things and you say oh that's sort of you know I don't like telling time that way okay <laughs> it, to me it's a much more interesting way of telling time and once you get used to it it's fine I have a uh, Chanel Monsieur and it's got and also a uh, Van Cleef and Arpels RDC at Ur Dyer, which means time here and time elsewhere, very different ways. It's got double jumping hours, one for different time zone. It's got a retrograde minute. Uh, the Xerix Holograph has it's just a fun watch. It has sort of it has uh, two two arms, I guess two hands. And each one, uh, one side of the hand, I guess, are two arms with a, in the in the middle, and then they have a these circles on the end of it, and then they go through the different tracks on the uh, the chapter rings for the minutes and the hours. So there's just something interesting that can be done with it. Now the movement is the caliber one. This is by uh, Stefan uh, Kadoki, I think. His the second watch that he did with uh, with the caliber one, uh, he won the, a, a Grand Prix prize. I think it was the Petit Aigui prize. Well deserved, I might add. Uh, the it's twenty eight thousand eight hundred semi oscillation per hour, which really surprises me. I mean, it's like he's from Dresden, <laughs> and so 
Marco uh, Wang and uh, Kristen Klings are both from that same area, and they, I, I would think they would they would have something a little lower uh, frequency, so I mean, at least 21,600. Gorgeous movement, though, it really is. You can flip that over, and they have a totally, uh, the uh, balance cock is, is engraved, and just a beautiful watch. Anyway, uh, I'd like to hear what you think of it, and um, this is an opportunity to subscribe if you like. Until next time, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Art Sci, the art and science of watch collection.